Intelligent, smart and active, toy poodles and miniature poodles were first bred for hunting tasks, but later on the breeders bred them for human companionship. Known by the name of French poodles, they were originally bred in Germany. Yes, that's right. And they both make a very loyal family dog. There are also quite a few differences between these two breeds that you will learn about in this video, divided into eight topics. Let us know which breed you prefer after the video. Number 1. Origin The Toy Poodle and the Miniature Poodle were originally bred in Germany for duck hunting over 400 years ago, but some people claim them to have originated in France. They were known for their retrieving nature and athletic skills, and they were used in the water retrieving sports. It is said that both the Toy Poodle and the Miniature Poodle were bred from the original Standard Poodle, and they were bred for those who wanted the smaller version of the Poodle. Portraits of the Poodle breed could also be seen on some popular images of 15th and 16th century. Number 2. Personality the personality of both the Toy Poodle and the Miniature Poodle is almost the same, as both of them have originated from the Standard Poodles. They both are a very intelligent and active breed. As the name depicts, Toy Poodles are a little bit smaller and less aggressive than their miniature counterpart. That means the Miniature Poodle barks a lot when they need attention. They both are very obedient and make a fabulous companion dog. They are very loyal and stranger friendly, and because of this trait, they don't form a good watchdog. If left alone, they can suffer from separation anxiety and become destructive, so they always love to be around their loved ones. Number 3. Appearance the only difference between a toy poodle and a miniature poodle is their height. They both share the same coat color, with colors ranging from gray, brown, cream. However, red and black poodles are very common. They have dark and oval eyes, which are wide, and the ears are hanging close to their heads with the round skull. Both have a corded coat with webbed feet. The toy poodle can grow up to 10 inches, which is 26 centimeters, and weigh up to 6 pounds, which is 3 kilograms, whereas the miniature poodle can grow up to 15 inches, which is 38 centimeters, and weigh up to 17 pounds, which is 8 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability Toy Poodles and Miniature Poodles are very intelligent and easy to train breeds. As both of them are very good swimmers, they excel in water retrieving sports. They're very agile and obedient and should be trained with a positive attitude. Any harsh treatment can break their confidence, so they should be equally encouraged during the training session. They are very eager to please and always look forward to some rewards and praise. The best way to train them is through dog competitions, as they learn tricks very quickly and implement them as soon as they learn, so it is very important to teach them every trick from an early age. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment Toy Poodles and Miniature Poodles are a very active breed, and they love running and walking a lot. Despite having high energy levels, one should not forget the smaller size of the Toy Poodles. So 30 to 40 minutes of walking would be enough for the Toy Poodle, whereas the Miniature Poodle, one hour of walking would be sufficient. You can include some fun activities as well, like making them retreat things, running behind you. They are very good swimmers and enjoy swimming, so you should also take them for some swimming sessions. Due to their corded coat, they need regular brushing to avoid the matting of the hairs and occasional bathing sessions as well. The hairs grow very fast, so they might need some trimming sessions occasionally. Number 6. Best Home both the Toy Poodles and the Miniature Poodles are very friendly breeds, and they form a strong bond with the family members. They are well suited for the family with kids, and they love to play with children. The Toy Poodle barks less frequently than the Miniature Poodle, and Miniature Poodle can sometimes become aggressive if not handled well. So you should keep an eye over the Miniature Poodle and your kid at the same time if you own them. Otherwise, they are very affectionate with their loved ones. They both are stranger friendly, so they don't make good watchdogs. But the the Miniature Poodle can sense the intruder and bark sometimes as well, but the Toy Poodle cannot. They are both suitable for apartment living, just make sure they get a proper space to run and play. They are very friendly with other pets. Number 7. Health 
Both the toy poodles and the miniature poodles are very well known for living a happy and healthy life, but they can suffer from a number of diseases if proper measurable steps are not taken. Toy poodles are prone to hip dysplasia, idiopathic epilepsy, and von Willebrand's disease, whereas miniature poodles are also prone to hip dysplasia, von Willebrand's disease, and also eye disorder. To avoid that, they should be taken to daily walks, and proper exercising is a must, along with proper diet. One should also consult a veterinarian to get the proper diet for these particular breeds. The toy poodle's average lifespan ranges from 10 to 18 years, and the miniature poodle's average age also ranges from 10 to 18 years. Number 8. Costs the average price for a toy poodle puppy will be somewhere around $1,000. If you're looking for a specific look or a puppy with the highest quality and even show quality, you can budget anywhere between $1,200 and $2,000. In comparison, the average price for a miniature poodle puppy will be somewhere around $1,000. If you're looking for a specific look or a puppy with the highest quality and even show quality, you can budget anywhere between $1,200 and $1,700. So what do you think? Do you prefer the toy poodle or the miniature poodle? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. And if you found this dog comparison helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.